I'm Alistair Stewart. I'm a researcher, computer scientist at the Web3 Foundation, and I'm mostly working these days on the design of Polkadot. In principle, we have you know, Polkadot, we have these, these different state machines, and we can run any type of plate machine, and they can send any type of messages from one chain to another. What the message passing system has to guarantee is that they arrive and that this, uh, they respect the, the state of the, the chains. If you send a message and it arrives, it must have happened, it must have been sent. Well, not with this, this very nice system, no, you have to use bridges. But uh, we certainly uh, want to have bridges to substrate, which can do, handle very general types of messages, but that's <laughs> going to be more difficult. What makes it different, what makes Polkadot different from a lot of other interoperability systems is that uh, two parachains have um, shared security. And basically, if you, if you trust the, uh, the validators, you should trust your own chain, but you also trust the other chain just as much. The important thing is that, so that all the, we don't want everyone in the system to see all these messages. But what the relay chain is going to tell people is it is going to tell you whether you have a, you know, whether this parachain sent you a message in this block. And uh, it will also have some sort of hash of a Merkle root or something, so we can verify uh, that the messages that you got sent were the actual messages you should have been sent. Um, so once you've got that, then we can just rely on validators or even collators to other entities to, to pass the data across. Well, that's the thing about having a completely abstract state machine, anything you want. Um, we're certainly going to be, um, and, and there's another question about, about Polkadot is, we're not really at the stage where we have standards yet, but we want to be doing things like uh, you know, token transfer, calling smart contracts on other chains so you can use oracles on another chain. Um, as the users for Polkadot go, the types of messages that uh, grow, the types of messages will also uh, go up and we'll see how, how it works. Uh, the, the default um, is if you get sent a message, and uh, then you have to act on it, right? If, you, if you're building on, on the relay chain block, you're building another block on that, uh, you have to act on the messages it says you got. So there's no sort of queue. But then this is gonna be a problem that what happens if one parachain is, is spanned by another one or a few other ones. I mean, individual parachains are gonna have a bound on the amount of data they're allowed to send. But if many send one, you can still be uh, have problems in receiving a lot of data, and if you do that, that will slow you down. And so what, we, what we're going to implement is a message which will tell the system that the power chain shouldn't be, it's illegal for them to send you a message. And then they won't send any messages. They can't send any messages, and that we can go with. Okay, so the relay chain has, has a record that this, this, this block uh, you know, a power chain, this power chain in this block sent a message to this other power chain. And it also has a, a hash that can, it's a local route that can verify the messages. So all we need is someone, someone to talk to someone and actually get this data across. And that should be the power chain validators' responsibility to talk to each other, to talk to the power chain validators on the other side. Um, but in theory, you can ask anyone. But you can, you know, if you have a smart contract power chain, you can, smart contract chain, you can do that with a transaction, right? All types of messages will be supported. So, um, but it should be the case that it's it's sort of a legal message on both sides. It should be fast, um, as in we should be able to do it within one block. If if you have a power chain that's fast, um, we're talking twenty seconds, maybe fifteen seconds, not instant. Um, the, the actual message might go across faster, but the trouble is, is yeah, syncing these things. That's up to the parachain, right? It's, it's, it's each chain is sort of logic, so whatever the parachain does, it has to act on this message. But maybe if the parachain is getting lots of messages, it's going to have some sort of buffer and not actually act on them straight away. Um, or maybe 
Uh, if we have a power chain which does its own funky contentus, it's going to have to buffer until Polkadot is final to be sure that it should be acting on them. But most power chains, they're just going to get the message, act on it, like a transaction. <laughs>